Today, I am showing you that how to upload a digital life certificate online for pensioners using Jivan Praman mobile application at the comfort of home. This work can be done just with a smartphone. It is mandatory that all pensioners must submit their life certificate every year to get uninterrupted pension. Government of India has introduced an online application called Jivan Praman to submit the digital life certificate online. And we need to install the Android Face RD service and Jivan Praman Face app in the mobile from the Google Play Store. Pensioners of central government, state government, or any other government organization can take benefit of this facility. Before starting the work, make sure that our smartphone must have the following system requirements and specifications. It is working on the operating system Android 8.0 or above. For GB RAM, 64 GB memory at least 5 megapixel camera and a free space of at least 500 megabits. And we must have net connection in the mobile. We must keep some documents readily for our refence while entering the details. That is Aadhaar number, mobile number which is linked with Aadhaar and bank account. Email address, PPO number, and bank account number in which the pension is being deposited. Now let's watch the demo video. Open a browser and type jivanpraman.gov.in. This leads to the Jivan Praman site. Scroll down. While scrolling down we can see some instruction. Scroll down again. We can see three icons. The middle one is for mobile Android application. Tap on it and proceed. Now in the given columns, type the email address and capture code. Then tap I agree to download. We receive an OTP in the given email. Open the email note down the OTP. Come back to the Jivan Praman portal and type the OTP and tap submit. Here we get a message states download link has been sent to your email ID click OK a new window will be opened. Download application for Windows and Android operating system. Tap the first Google Play icon to download Adhar Face RD service. We can see that the application is downloading and installing in our mobile. Next tap on the second icon to download Jivan Praman Face app from Google Play Store. Here again we can see that the application is downloading and installing in our mobile. When the installation completed the new application version 3.6.3 Android Face app opens. Now we get another message asking that supporting biometric scanner found continue with. Tap yes then operator authentication part opens. Here we have to give two permission to continue. First one, allow Jivan Praman to take picture and record video tap while using the app. Next, allow Jivan Praman to access photos and media on your device. Tap on allow. In the operator authentication page, we fill our Adhar number, mobile number, and email address. And tap submit. We get an OTP in the mobile. Noted from the mobile, come back to operator authentication window and enter the OTP and tap submit. Here we can see a new window opens. Type your full name exactly as given in the Adhar. Tick this checkboxes and tap on scan. Now we see a message that do you want to scan the face tap yes and give permission for Adhar face RD to take picture and record videos tap while using the app. Here we get the guidance for face authentication. Lighting must be even and proper on the face and the mobile may be hold in such a way that the camera of the mobile is straight to the eyes and the mobile is straight and vertical. Maintain an appropriate distance to get a clear vision of the face. Tap proceed. Now the mobile camera is scanning the face. Hold the phone still and blink your eyes. Here we can see that the capturing is failed. We try again maintaining the above said conditions. Tap OK on the message. And tap on scan. Do you want to scan the face tap yes? Here we can see that the face is scanning again. Now we are getting the message that the image captured successfully and processing. We get such a message if the lighting is even and the phone position is OK. After some processing time we get a message that client registration successful. 
consecutively Jeevan Praman face app version 3.6.3 opens and pensioners authentication window appears. Here we type add our number, mobile number and email address and tap submit. A message will be received in the phone. Copy it and paste in the pensioner authentication window. Tap Submit. A new window opens. Here we type our PPO number name as an Adhar and bank account number. Select from the pop-up and complete the entries, type of pension, sanctioning authority, dispersing agencies, and agency without making mistakes. In the category type of pension, choose one among EPS 95, family, others, or service. From the category sanctioning authority, choose the right one. My category is central government. My dispersing agency is bank, and under agency, select the name of the bank. My bank is State Bank of India. Here in all item, you have to choose your options. Here we can see the PPO number and bank account number verify once whether it is correct or not. Select these options re-employed and remarriage and check these two checkboxes and tap submit. Now you can see a message pop up. Do you want to generate digital life certificate DLC for any other person not entered above? If you have have more than one pension. In that case, he can tap yes and proceed. If we tap yes, then we must scan the face again, fill up the PPO number of the second pension and all other matters to be repeated. Single pension holders can tap no and proceed. Then we get a confirmed screen with Praman ID. Check the checkbox and tap scan here. We can see a message that do you want skin face? Tap yes and scan the face as we have done earlier. Image captured successfully, this message is seen below the image in green letters. If the capturing is successful, here we see the window with our photograph given in the ad hard, and we can see a Praman ID corresponding to our PPO number. If you have more than one pension, you will get separate Praman IDs corresponding to each PPO number. Photograph shown is that of our ad hard card. Within a short period of time, we will receive an acknowledgement message in phone from the bank or the pension disbursing agency that life certificate submitted by you is successfully accepted through Jeevan Praman. Your Praman ID will also be there. Open the link given in the message to view life certificate. When we open the link, it will lead us to the Jeevan Praman site. Tap on pensioner login, furnish Praman ID, capture, and generate OTP. The OTP will be received as a message in the mobile. Copy it and pass it in pensioner's sign in page and tap login. Now we can see the life certificate. Tap click here given at the right top corner to download the digital life certificate. Select PDF viewer to see the certificate. We can execute these five options by clicking on the three dots, the called hamburger button or trigram symbol at the right top corner. Send file, open with, download, print and feedback to Google. In case of rejection of your life certificate, immediately contact your pension disbursing agency or bank. Find out why the certificate was rejected. If there is any discrepancy information, then immediately get a new Jeevan Praman ID. Failure to do so may result in suspension of pension. This video is created to help the pensioners in India to submit their life certificate from the place where they are. They can do it self or with the help of some family members. The doubts and comments may please be posted and please subscribe the channel if not subscribed. Please share it to your friends. Thank you for watching this video. See you again with another video of this type.